Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your weekend mystic affirmations. This is our first weekend of 2022. So for Friday, January 7th through Sunday, January 9th, this is our ability to use our positive energy. This is not a standard tarot reading. It's about using the law of divine compensation, the law of attraction, and our ability to manifest our abundance and receive our best possible life now. This is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. Therefore, if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. And for a weekly boost, you can check out Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom Podcast. It's available on all platforms including but not limited to audible.com, apple.com. You can go through your Alexa and just say Royal Mystic Podcast and it'll come up. Uh, Google and Spotify to set just for the, the first uh, few. It's, there's many more. So whatever platform you listen to podcasts on, I'm probably on it. So with that being said, let's go right on into the energy. We have the King of Swords and the Justice card. The King of Swords is the Archangel Michael energy, very solid energy of being in a protection um, and being guided, allowing the energy to move forward. As a person, this energy is someone who's very much in uh, that same kind of energy. It usually wears a uniform, can be someone who is very, uh, a doctor, lawyer, judge, nurse, anyone who's a first responder. So. That all fits in here. And then anybody who is a um, analytically minded person. So it would be architect, engineer, and scientist. Then you've got, so this is Aries, not Aries, sorry, Aquarius. Don't know where that went. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini with the Libra Major Arcana. So some of you may be feeling that. Even though this isn't a, an actual sectional reading for each horoscope sign, sometimes the signs show up. And this is the energy of balance and being in the right decision. So either the right decision being made for you or by you. We like that. Uh, starting off, Archangel Michael and the balance of getting exactly what you need. Here we go. Thank you, angels, Archangel, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Hello, son. We'll take that. Divine spirit. Spirit guides, gods, and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So having the sun card as the second cut card, that's the happiest card in tarot. It means wonderful things coming to fruition. Uh, the universe assisting you in that. It means the opportunity of a lifetime. Very solid, very solid and positive. So we love that. And we have... Of course, everything's going on wonderfully and we get into this over-analysis paralysis card. Remember, it's not, sometimes it's not your move and these are not grounded in anything. They're not attached. They're not solid. You can't hold them. And, and it's kind of letting her know that by putting that blindfold and restricting her arm's reach. She can't really reach them. This is just the possibilities of what, what may work out. But you don't need to try to anticipate that right now. It's You still have to remain within your focus of manifesting. It's not fully available to you yet. So stay focused and don't try to run off into the, the outcome, right? Stay, you're not ready for that. It's, it's formulating. It's just not ready for you to choose, okay? It's the, uh, it's the universe's move. Think if you were playing chess. This is the universe's move. You have to wait for their move before you can actually proceed. Patience is hard, I know. <laughs> we always try to control. This is, you have, you don't have the control, even though if you think you do. Opportunity. I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. Remember, these are possibilities. They haven't quite turned into opportunity yet. They're on their way. So be open for that. And let's see what our shuffle card is. No doubt. This is important to match that card. 
I will eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to doubt. So being in a place of letting go of the need to know how it's going to turn out is letting go of doubt because you don't need to know if you're already sure it's going to be okay, right? Don't try to control, don't try to micromanage the universe. And let's see what we've got here. Be assertive. So stand in your energy of knowing what you want and don't let anybody try to make you compromise your end result. Okay? Don't settle for less than you deserve. That's in all aspects. A lot of times we try to make something broken work. Allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So, this is where you have to be okay to let this part work itself out and allow the universe to bring it to you before you start making a move forward. And the patience is required, my dears. It is required. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. My heart is open. I allow my love to throw, throw, to throw freely. <laughs> I allow my love to flow freely. Say that three times fast. I love myself. I love others and others love me. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others and others love me. This is important because if you don't feel a specific um, understanding of your value and that you are worth loving, you are worthy of all good things, then you'll accept less than you need, than you, than you, than you should accept, right? You'll accept a, a smaller portion thinking that, well, I've done things in the past, therefore I don't deserve a full... Yes, you do. You deserve every good thing. Don't count yourself out of that. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know that I chose them because they were perfect for what I needed to learn. I forgive them and set them free, and I set myself free. I see my parents as, ch as tiny children who need love. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know that I chose them because they were the perfect fit for what I had to learn. I forgive them and I set them free and I set myself free. You've got to remember, our parents did not have the energy of, I mean, there was no real connection to source within a family unit and there was no real understanding of how much children are scarred through the abuse of of being treated mistreated as children they were mistreated they don't know how to be different some of them have had lived very hard lives through through their um you know not everybody has to qualify to be a parent you can just be a parent even if you're a bad one so their parents affected them and they pass it on. And that's, that's where you have to be in a place of forgiveness. I know that it's hard. Uh, and, and just because you forgive someone and, and let them, let that, let that go, doesn't mean you have to be directly involved with them. Uh, Cause they may not have changed just because you evolved. Doesn't mean they have, don't torture yourself about it. Just forgive and release. We have the eight of pentacles, which is the energy of being very much focused on creating new things, learning new things, mastering new skills. In this one, she's painting at an easel, very beautiful mandala she's making. So 
let yourself explore new things. This is what keeps us vital and, and, and our brains functioning is not just doing the same thing every day, right? Find something that's interesting, try new things, experiment, be in a happy place and let yourself be like a child in that energy of exploring. You're going in the right direction. The Six of Swords is saying everything's pointing you in the right direction. And you're following that energy, which means you're leaving the past behind that's negative and allowing yourself to move forward with what you, what you desire and what you need and following higher guidance. Then you've got the Two of Pentacles, which is also the infinity symbol. So it means allowing yourself to move in the flow of divine. The Two of Pentacles is the card that says don't allow other people's drama to sacrifice your future. You just stay focused and in your flow. If somebody comes to you with an issue, give them your best advice and then cut them loose because ultimately they have to be the one to act on it and make the decision. So don't stop your flow. Don't throw all your stuff to the ground just to help somebody else pick their stuff up. Because I guarantee you, they're going to walk on off and you're going to be the one trying to pick your own stuff up. They're not going to come back and help you. So just, just stay in your flow and don't break your rhythm. You're the one who's worked this hard to get this far. It's not that you don't need to be compassionate. You can be compassionate, but you don't have to sacrifice to do it. Many blessings, my darlings. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And I'll see you again on Monday. Love, light, and abundance to you. Namaste.